So your client doesn't want you to report use of force? What's up, security family? Welcome back to Security Guard Command. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. So, I wanted to talk about something that uh, seems to be a little bit of an issue. I had one person mention it to me, and then I, I've also experienced it myself, and that is uh, you're working at a job site, and the client doesn't want you to report use of force on their property. And it's a little, little weird and I can kind of get it. They don't want police involvement. They don't want investigations. I get that. But as a security officer, if you're involved in a use of force situation or an altercation with somebody, you are required to report it uh, to BSIS. And um, I worked at a particular job site uh, where uh, I was an armed, armed site and it was it was real off. I mean, it was it was an, it was it was a bad, kind of a bad situation. Um, I was told, and I and I quote: "If you shoot somebody, don't worry about it. They will take care of the body." And I was just like, I was like, what? And I I left. I didn't I did not uh, work there another day. I was I I put in my notice and I I just left. I wasn't gonna work at a place like that. It was extremely shady. It, it was just total BS. Um, and I was like, I'm not gonna participate in this. If you're willing to do that, then you're doing other criminal activities and I don't wanna be roped into this. There's obviously a lot of illegitimate things going on. And so I, I resigned and I, I quit that day. Um, so let's address that because um, I have a feeling that even for minor altercations with 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 the public, uh, some places may not want you to file a, uh, a report. It might reflect badly on that business. You know, if the police become involved, if it's a bar, for example, they don't want you to report something. Uh, that could be, you know, reason enough for them to not want you to report it. However, you are required by law to report it, and if it comes out that that did happen and then you didn't report it, that falls back on you and you're the one who ends up getting in trouble, possibly losing your license. But big part of this falls on the, on the company, the person who, who drafted the contract and, and made the agreement with the client. If you're a security company, make sure that you are clear with your client what the laws are if you or your employees get involved and have an altercation with the public. Um, you have to report things and they have to be clear on that. You have to make sure that they are aware and that, that not reporting something is, is not, a, not a, an option. So I um, just want to throw that out there. What do you guys think about this? Um, have you ever had, had a client tell you that they didn't want you to call the cops about something and just to kind of keep it quiet? Let, let me know what your guys' experiences are because I've had a few of those. Anyway, hope you guys have a great day. I'm, I'm working on that social media site and it's coming along. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have a, some, some, some part of it running soon. You guys can log in and start using it. Uh, training, training section is going to be developed soon. And then I'm going to start developing the business end of the, the whole site. So lots of things to come. Don't for, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day.